I took a trip to Lake Erie's Putin Bay to find out what it's like to live on a Great Lakes island. The islands of the Great Lakes are popular tourist destinations. There's Mackinac Island, a time capsule with horse-drawn carriages and historic sites. There's Isle Royal, one of America's most remote national parks. And a short drive for the millions of us who live around the Great Lakes are the popular Lake Erie Islands. South Bass is one of the few dozen Great Lakes Islands with year-round residents. And while some of those islands can be reached by bridges, South Bass and the Lake Erie Islands can only be reached by boat or by airplane. Here's one of the ferries that'll get you there. I wanted to see what life is like without tourists for the few hundred people who live here. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm fine. Let me have your bags. All right. Cece Wisniewski is one of them. She commutes between two Lake Erie Islands for her job as a music teacher. Beautiful day, isn't it? It is. I'll take sunshine over rain any day. We're headed out of Putin Bay to Kelly's Island on board one of Tom Griffin's airplanes. For 72 years, all I've known is airplanes. This is the only job I've ever had. We hold many passengers, five or 6,000 a year. And I held five school children this morning, plus, of course, Cece, the teacher. Cece takes this trip every Tuesday. In less than 10 minutes, she's back on the ground on her way to Kelly's Island School. I fly over actually from Putin Bay. So I'm one of the very few people probably in the area that island hops for work. Um, you know, there are people that commute mainland to island or vice versa, but I actually get to go island to island. Griffin's Air Service doesn't just carry people like Cece. It brings the mail and other passengers, like this colony of bees. Meanwhile, Cece is taking us to class. Welcome to Kelly's Island School. So when was the school built? It was built in 1901, and they finished it, I think, around 1903. So the original part of the building is pretty old. And they put an addition on, I this think, in the 2000s. Newer. Yeah. So this is a library and a couple of classrooms in the early 2000s. Back in 1910, a thousand people lived on Kelly's Island. There were limestone quarries, vineyards, and commercial fishing. There used to be a lot more kids here, especially in the 1900s. I think if you actually look at the history, there's a couple different schools on the island. There were so many kids. The vineyards closed in part because of prohibition. The quarries and fishing disappeared decades ago. The population shrunk too but the students still get their music lessons. Uh, I come over once a week, uh, usually on Tuesdays, and teach the six kids that go to school here. Um, six kids? Well, there's five elementary and one high schooler. Wow. Charlie, there you go. Up, down, Kelly's there you Island go. School has the smallest class size of any public school in Ohio. Local property taxes have kept it going strong. My first class of each day is second and third grade. So I have one second grader and one third grader. And I teach them a variety of things of singing, instrument playing, listening, and we've just started moving into ukuleles. So they're both learning to play ukuleles now. Shall I fix it, dear Henry, with what? What's your favorite thing about going to school here? Quiet, there's so many animals in nature. And you can ride your bike around with Nobody around sometimes. You don't see a lot of people. There's like no people. It used to be like just the people that live here plus my family and that was everybody that were up here like. Do you get to go over to the mainland very much? In the winter time, um, we can't go on the mainland unless we fly over because then the lake freezes and the boats can't get across. We usually buy a bunch of stuff before the winter so we don't have to fly over and get stuff, but sometimes we fly over in the winter. Is there stuff you ever run out of that you really wish you had? Uh, apples. Apples. Mm. We have a lot of islands here in Lake Erie in this, in this little area. So as a Putin Bay resident, how are the islands different from one another? It's a much quieter island both summer and fall and winter. Uh, there's a lot less people. The tourism here is different. It's people that are coming for a much quieter getaway. Thank you so much for having me at your school. This is my first time here on Kelly's Island. Yeah, so. I knew that. Yeah? Yeah, thank yeah. you. So what kind of animals do you guys see on the island? A lot of deers and a lot of coyotes. I've seen a coyote before. Oh, really? Me too. I see a fox before. They made like... What do they do? At the... <laughs> <laughs> At the fire department, when there's mice in there, 
Uh, my dad puts mouse traps, and then when he catches mice, he puts them outside so the fox can eat them. Make your warmer, colder. Found one. I found one too. The kids Ooh, come in and they tell me like, "What'd you do this weekend in the middle of the winter?" They're like, "Oh well, we went and, did, and we shot deer and we went turkey hunting and they it's just a, it's a lot more rural, yeah. even though we're only two miles apart from each other." And it's funny when you talk to people on the different islands, like the Putin Bay people say, "I could never imagine living year round on Kelly's," and Kelly's are like, "I can never imagine living year round on Putin Bay because of just the difference of lifestyle." It's Like a lot of island residents, Cece has more than one job. Did Tally explain to you, Emil, about what we were learning this weekend, about where to sit? She's also so the sailing coach at Putten Bay School. We head out on the water for her team's third practice of the spring season. Cece, tell us how you ended up on the island. So I am uh, I'm newly a resident of this island. There, my husband and I, we had kind of been vacationing here. My parents and I had a summer house here for years and years and years. and. After my parents passed away, my husband and I decided that we really wanted to keep the family cottage. And so we left our mainland lives. What was the, uh, the biggest adjustment or like surprise, I guess? Um, probably the biggest adjustment is grocery shopping. Um, <laughs> like on a Sunday, if you find out at 6 p.m. that you are out of something, you're out of luck. This is our high school team. Um, Putin Bay School has about 75 kids in it, I think. It's been cool with the sailing team too, is that it's new, it's brand new to this island. They've never had this high school sailing team. So when we're out here this time of year, it becomes a spectator sport that cars are driving by and stopping and watching. And a lot of the parents come down, they're taking pictures. So it's been a lot of really positive feedback from it and a lot of really great support from the school and the community. Good, now switch it, Emil, switch it, yes. Emil, that was so much better. We're gonna work on a lot of boat handling today, especially with this light breeze. It's right, gonna be really nice, a lot of roll tacking, roll jibing right, um, for the non-sailors out there, it's turning the boat back and forth and making better. it look like they're getting really close to capsizing, but better. hopefully not. Two, one, jive, flatten, 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 flatten. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Now the trick is that Macy stays completely dry. Yes! Well, I'm Alex Knauer and I'm a junior at Putin Bay School. How do things change in the summer, like during the tourist season? Um, it gets crazy busy, especially in mid-July. The biggest difference is the amount of people that's on the island. Saturday nights, mid-July, everything is packed. Sometimes I don't even go downtown with the amount of people that there are just because it's stressful. Yeah. But today, it's just the kids on the water and the occasional ferry. All right, ready, Tally? Tack. Head up. There you go. Better. My name is Tally Steidel. I am a sophomore at Putin Bay High School. I have been living on the island for 13 years now. Uh, I was from Russia, and then I got adopted when I was three, and I came here to Putin Bay, and now I'm 16, and I'm having a great time on the island. I work at the uh, boardwalk, and I uh, cook for them. I, I get a lot of big skills in life with meeting people and working. When I meet kids on the mainland, their main question is usually, why are you already working? Don't, don't your parents just give you money? Here we get a nice time to work when we're 13, 14, and really get a good work ethic. Not a lot of time on the island for free time. It's more just do work or gonna be bored. I mean, this is a pretty beautiful place here. I mean, almost especially in the off season with yeah. no one here. Do the kids realize I think, how lucky they are? I think they do. I mean, there's probably a point where they, they see it every day, so they might not always realize it, yeah. but sunrises and sunsets are unbeatable here. For more from Great Lakes Now, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on social media.